remember what the haters talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Remember Stedman Graham, Oprah Winfrey's longtime secret lover? Would they be secret lovers? Uh, actually, I think it would be more like secret cover. Or just cover, because it's not a secret. I don't believe that they are actual lovers. I believe that Oprah is covering for Stedman, and Stedman is covering for Oprah. Kind of like how some of those pastors be doing. They'll be married and everything, and they'll just be out there living their own life messing with boys and everything and their wife will take in all of the benefits the material benefits even the prestige of being the first lady and all of that stuff and she'll be having a whole separate life going on yeah that's what i believe is happening but anyway that's not important right now what's important is stepman knocking down the idea of Oprah becoming a running mate for the remaining, well, one of the remaining two uh, candidates, Democratic candidates, Joe Biden or Bernie Sanders. Bernie, which, by the way, took a beating on Super Tuesday yesterday. Oh, boy, dude got wiped out damn near. Anyway, Stedman says that Oprah is the reason that Obama got elected in 2008. He says she has a lot of political clout, a lot of political influence, but she is not interested in running uh, for vice president or being a vice presidential candidate. She, she don't want that job because the work she's doing already is, are, is enough. It's too significant. It's way more important than than being a vice president. I'm trying to figure out what work is he talking about because I know she's not doing anything for the people. So perhaps running her company or empire and you know, getting that money and making these documentaries about successful black men dragging their legacies, I'm sure that's what he's talking about. But I want to make a correction. Oprah is not the reason why Obama got elected. The hip hop community is the reason Obama got elected. You see, it was all of those songs that people love to attack from back in the, in the 80s and the 90s that raised a lot of these people who love the music and who are now voters, who were voters when Obama came up for election. I'm talking about the non-blacks specifically. Black people, automatic. But Obama could not have been elected with the, with the black vote alone. So he had to get a lot of help from a lot of people that were not black. And what made it cool to vote for this guy was, I do believe, the people who grew up listening to hip hop. A lot of the people that are non-black, they, they listen to hip hop, they're, they're learning about the culture, they're coming to the shows, they're interacting with the artists, they're interacting with the fan base, they got them at their school, they got uh, black people who love the music at their school, they're sharing. And I do believe it was that people opening their eyes to the idea of a black president. It was, it was all of that. Oprah probably play, played some type of role. I, I say she played a minor role. She had a huge platform, so she had him on the show. She supported him. You know, she got a huge, uh, white female constituency, but that didn't really seem to work in the last election because 55% of those white women voted for Donald Trump. So if she has that much power, why couldn't she get, um, why couldn't 
Clinton, why couldn't Hillary Clinton knock off Trump? Why couldn't she use her influence to knock off Trump? It was the hip hop community. The hip hop community takes a lot of hits and rightfully so, you know, there's a lot of the music that's just, that's, that's inappropriate. I, I agree, you know, like th th there are some, there, there are some images that, that we put out there that may not have been consistent with being productive. So I'll take, I'll take that hit, but just like people give uh, hip hop credit for the negative stuff, they need to give hip hop the credit for the positive stuff. Because oftentimes, the only, time you, the only thing you hear about is, oh, you talked about drugs and you talked about uh, you know, shooting and when we used to drive, do drive-bys to your music and blah, blah, blah. But they don't talk about the people who listen to the music and actually got the message and was motivated by the music to go out and do something great. That was motivated by the music to be an entrepreneur to go to college, to get that education, to, to be a good father, to be a better mother, to be a, a, a better son, a better daughter, a, a, a community activist. The hip hop community raised all of that. The hip hop community raised a lot of these entrepreneurs, uh, a lot of these donors who gave money to Barack Obama's campaign. These are hip hop babies. So, it was the hip hop community, in my opinion, that played the biggest role in Barack Obama getting reelected. But as always, I'm open to opinions. That's my opinion. What say you? Drop a comment. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?